Good morning, I'm Janie Parrish with the Wadsworth Theria Chamber of Commerce. And today you are Zooming in with a longtime friend of mine, Lori Betts. And Lori is the El Presidente, how do you like that one, Lori, of the Hands Foundation. Right. And Lori, you have been involved with the Hands Foundation for years and years. I think um, I go back to like 1995. Um, Hands Foundation is very near and dear to my heart, and I believe in it 100%. Okay, so tell us, what is the mission of the Hands Foundation? Okay, our mission is to take care of the seniors' quality of life and try to help them in Medina County and try to help them either with a warm and fuzzy wish or a greatly needed wish in their life at one time or another. So tell us- So what we do grant wishes. I'm sorry, Lori, I just Go cut ahead. it right off. Tell us what is a-, a You did. Fuzz you <laughs> oh. Tell us a warm, a warm and fuzzy wish. Okay, it would be Mrs. Jones would love to take an airplane ride to go see her granddaughter graduating in New York. So a weekend trip getaway. So our wishes are $300, but to someone $300 is a lot of money and it would help them get to their destination and have a nice weekend. Nice. And then- And also, if you want, if a senior husband and wife wants to celebrate Break their 55 year anniversary but in their budget it doesn't allow them to go out to a nice meal at a nice restaurant we could grant a wish for them to do so that is awesome now tell us about an essential wish you know one that would make oh now life. that's a sad part of it. yeah that's a sad part of it so many people seniors are on strict budgets so when let's say something happens, like if they have a leak in their bathroom faucet or their kitchen garbage disposal just goes down or car repairs, there are seniors out there who need car repairs so they can get to a job. I mean, our lives are so, so different. So, and then we've even granted people um, trying to get new wardrobes to go on to a new job interview. We help the people 65 and older. So there are a lot of people in our generation that are still working. I would be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can joke with you, Lori, about that. But yeah, it's the truth. And yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes. And you know how people say um, about fixed incomes? And you know what? We're all on a fixed income. Mm -hmm. And But for a senior, it's a very... Definitely restricted income so boy and um the hands i did my mother's budget for years go ahead and um when did the oh you ought to be around us when we're together so yep we're talking all over each other so anyway so i'll try to be quiet a little bit more lori because you've got this information down pat how long has the hands foundation been around Okay, it started originally in 1995. Our founder, Don Simpson, a wonderful, wonderful retiree at the time, he felt he saw the need for these seniors, his friends, even in his circle of friends. You know, someone needed like, let's say a car repair. And he thought, what can the county do to help these poor seniors? And he pounded the pavement. I mean, he tried to get me on the board for years. And I just, I dragged my feet because I thought, okay, I live in North Wilson, the store's in Brunswick. I don't want to go out to the Sharon Center because um, that's where a lot of things were happening then because um, I want to head home at night. I don't want to head, you know, back into deep into Medina. So he finally got me to advertise in our newspaper, the Helping Hands newspaper that we put out six times a year. Um, now, see, I had to get everything in here, Janie, because we keep jumping. Um, so he had me um, uh, do an article and I took an ad out and then he said, you have to come on the board. You are the perfect candidate to be on the Hands Foundation board. 
So I went on it. I've been the president several times. I'm the president again. It's a wonderful, unique organization, nonprofit. We are not connected to any um, or um, foundations, the big ones, you know, that you're restricted, like American Red Cross, United Way. We are strictly on our own. And the community, the county, the support we get from everybody is just phenomenal. So, for example, how do you um, do a senior wish? How does that happen? Well, that does have to be through a third party. Mrs. Jones just can't call up and say, I need a wish done. So what happens, she has to go through maybe her church, the office for older adults. Someone else has to apply the wish for her. And it's only like a one page, just basics. You know, your name, your phone number, um, what your need is. So, so we really have not turned down anybody unless we really knew history about it um, that we know that maybe they were getting funding from different places. We, we like to help as many people as we can. And we don't want to say, okay, Mrs. Jones, it's a year now, you get another wish. You know, we just want to take care of as many as we can. Now, um, how do you get your money to grant these wishes? Well, Brunswick Eagles Club on Pearl Road, they have been a supporter. We have been their main charity, I would say, for at least 20 years plus. And when gaming went into effect and um, the state got involved, they said these um, Eagles they do have to donate a portion of their profits, of their gaming profits to an organization, charity. They have to pick and choose the main charity yearly and they will get a percentage of the profit. So they have supported us for years and years. Wow. And I, in turn, you know, I give back to them. You know, I've been on that um, board. I've been the chaplain for many years, you know, giving back to them. So one hand washes the other. It's all um, teamwork. And as Joyce Giles always said, it's collaboration. You have to collaborate with your competitors, with your other people in the um, county, so you can help each other. Boy, and isn't that the truth? Yeah. Now, oh, I yeah, do I know did. that you have a, a fundraiser coming up that's been around for a while, too. Yes, it used to be like swing into spring um, back in the day. And back in the day, our first fundraiser was at, in um, Sharon Center. We had probably minimal people there. And I, and I don't know figures, but we made minimal dollars. But from we had the Pioca band play. So from there, it all grew, grew, grew. So this year, we are doing summer on July 24th. Um, if you want to attend, it's going to be $70 a person. It's going to be um, a silent auction and a nice dinner and just camaraderie. So check your calendar for that. And then also sticking with our fundraisers on September 12th, I am the chair of a breakfast reverse raffle. It's going to be at the Brunswick Eagles. It's going to be in the pavilion in case people are still um, affected with COVID. They have their issues that they don't want to be indoors. That's going to be on a Sunday morning for $20 a ticket and a chance to win $1,500. So put those dates down and check your calendars and see if you want to join us. And if you would, you can find us at hands slash foundation.org. The Hands Foundation has helped so many people over the years. I was on the board of the Hands Foundation. Yes, you were, Janie. Yes, yeah. you were. Yes. And, um, and I can remember because the board approves the senior wishes. It's not just, you know, Correct. somebody refers them and then they fill out an application. It goes through the board so that it, it's very um, well thought out and very vetted about um, to make sure that this is a, um, a legitimate referral 
and uh, I tell you, it's heartwarming. It's heartwarming to be on the board. Oh, it is. Yeah, and to um, and it. Well, I was just thinking, you know, like, and I was just going to say, we keep it, we keep it discreet because we yeah. don't want everybody to know everybody else, other's business. Right. So we do not know names. We just know like which one, this is what they are, you know, referring. Sometimes we do like maybe six wishes a month, maybe double that another month. You know, it depends on the seasons of the year, you know, because different things happen. Uh, we used to do a big part of the, um, the market but with uh, with the weather and with the vegetables coming and going I, and with covid i don't even know if all the markets are kicking in this year mm -hmm. so yeah it's uh, it's a very important service that's provided and the people who um are part of this a part of the board and helping with all of this boy you all have it in your hearts and that's oh we do fun. we do yeah. And I just want to say one kudos to our good friend, Cindy, Cindy Schneider. God love her. I mean, she brought the hand to a high. So, and yeah. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get upset, but I mean, she, she was out there everywhere talking hands, hands, hands. And she, she just let everyone know all about us and the support we got was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So kudos to her. And now Chrissy, Chrissy Waller, she is our um, executive director right now but pro bono i mean she believes in the hands as much as i do and our board members and so she does not want to see it to go into default so we have a lot of good people that are on our board supporting mm. a lot of people behind the scenes yeah it, with every nonprofit. yeah and especially the hands foundation so um is there a phone number that people can call to purchase yes. tickets or yeah um, they can call, I'm going to give you 330-225-4242. Okay. So if they'd like to purchase tickets to either one or both of those fundraisers. Okay. So, and I'm going to give you my cell phone too, because they could call me at, for either one, uh, 216-990-3739. Oh, well, Lori Betts, thank you so much for all you do for the Hands Foundation. And thanks for the Hands Foundation for all they do for our senior community. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jamie. And thanks for inviting me to do this today. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. The Hands Foundation is certainly in my heart as well. And, uh, you know, you just think as we're all approaching an age where you just don't know what's coming next and you don't know when you're going to need help or where it's going to come from. And boy, that's what the hands foundation is all about. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. it is. So thank you, Lori. Any closing remarks? Yeah. Well, and I just want to add to that. Um, we do produce the helping hand publish the helping hands newspaper. And that comes out six times a year. And it's got wonderful educated articles. So we have a lot of great people who are um, continued support and they just help the seniors as much as they can. And it's free advice. So make sure you are on our mailing list. If not, call the office. Do say I would like to receive your publication and we'll put you on the list. Okay. And it is and thanks a everybody for supporting us. Yeah, it's a great publication too. Yeah, great articles, great information. How many are mailed out uh, in Medina County? I, I believe we did have to cut back. So I think there's like 6,000 that go out. Wow, that's a lot. Six times a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lori, well, thank you. And we're going to see you with the uh, summer breezes on July 24th at the Oaks. And you know that meal's going to be great. And the Delicious, atmosphere. yes. And the atmosphere is gorgeous. Yeah. So come on, check your calendars and come on out. Okay. Thank you, Janie. Thank you, Lori.